Hurry up, Bob. Oh, God, what is happening? This is Hurry Up, Bob. Also, lasers. Let's find out why this is called Hurry Up, Bob. Also, there are a lot of people on Newgrounds that make frickin' dress-up games. Like, a lot. There are also lots of porn games, apparently. Anyway, Bob works at work, as usual. But suddenly, OMG, WTF, barbecue, oh noes. What is happening? What happened? All my base are belong to question marks. What is going on? Run? But why? That's the name of the game. You said that- oh crap, lava. Damn it. Lava ruins everything. Everywhere I go, there's frickin' lava. Avoid the flow of magma below the whatever blah blah blah. Yeah, this is one of those keep going up until you die games. So yeah, you use the arrow keys to move. Use the space bar to attack. Use the up to jump. As you can see, I tend to just hold the frickin' up button. Because... For one thing, you control better in air, which... Makes no logical sense, but... It's more fun in video games, usually. And in addition, these platforms here crumble as you walk on them, as you can see. So... Ah, crap. Stupid computer. Anyway. What was I saying? Yeah, these things crumble, so you want to be quick on them. If you just hop up and down like a retard, they won't break. Like, except for the darker ones, they break the moment you touch them. The uh, slightly less dark ones only break if you stand around on them. And while time is frozen, everything is frozen, and you can't take any damage. Which is really nice, but you don't want to fall. That's the one thing you want to avoid doing, no matter what. Because, you know, this is... One thing, this is a get-as-high-as-you-can game. And spikes. Spikes, the spike hitbox is sort of small, which I like. You can, you can get sort of close. Ow. And yeah, just because you have a hard hat doesn't mean your head is protected. That, that is ridiculous. Why would you think that? You're retarded. Hearts restore a very small amount of health. Fortunately, they're fairly common. Also, you have, like, almost no range. You have more range than it looks like with the animation, but not by much. Also, hedgehogs are the bane of my existence, and I hate them. Oh, god damn it! No, I was wrong. Lava is the bane of my existence. Let's try to get to, um, a thousand meters or wherever I was before. I've... Oh, crap. I've done way better than this, I promise. I didn't even get to the first frickin' jetpack. Good luck, Bob. He will need it. Because his weapon sucks. I pressed spacebar, damn it. Whatever. Taking hits from enemies really isn't that much of a threat. It's just... Lava d instantly depletes half your health. Enemies do, like, a tenth. So, just ignore enemies. Just make sure they don't slow you down. That's the only thing. And stuff like time freezes and jet packs when we come across them go a long way to come here. Wrong button. To um, you know, keeping ahead of the lava, I guess. One hundred seventy-eight meters. Only like one fifth of the way. I know I've gone over a thousand meters. Pretty sure anyway. We. And you can kill stuff when time is frozen, even though you're safe. Which is pretty awesome. Also, there are trophies in this game, like in every other Newgrounds game, basically. Yes, epic fucking jetpack. Time stop, yes. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there are trophies, often for killing stuff, or... Ow. Hey. Window lost focus or something. Anyway. Usually for killing enemies, going a certain height, um, stuff like that. I don't tend to get the enemy killing ones. Except there's a rampage mode where it's all about attacking, so I guess that's where you're supposed to get them. But, yes, ice. Fucking jetpack! Yes, please. Another jetpack. Oh, jetpacks, how I love them. An uh, awesome thing about the jetpacks is when you stop, you get a little... Oh, I wasn't stopped. 
you get that little platform beneath you so you don't just instantly fall down like 300 meters. Ow, stop failing. Yeah, I don't quite like ice. Ice is another good reason to jump, because ice physics don't affect you in the air. At least I don't think they do. And if they do, I'm going to kill people, because that would that's just ridiculous. Even by the standards of video game physics, that would be an atrocity. Oh god, time. We are almost at a thousand meters, people. We are through the looking glass. Also, holy crap. Yo! Yes. The spacebar does not seem to be as responsive as I want it to be. Maybe I'm just not pressing better enough. Or good enough, or whatever. Oh god, lava! Where did you come from? Okay, good. The lava does stop when you get the time thing. I was never 100% sure about that, because... Oh god. Okay, hurry. Okay, we broke a thousand meters. Um. Oh crap. Lava seems to catch up to you pretty- ow. Are you kidding? I died to that. Anyway, this is Hurry Up Bob. It's pretty fun. You should play it. It's still on the front page of Newgrounds. And... Yeah. Unlimited usage of axe. That's wonderful grammar. Oh god, right. Yeah, enemies just keep falling from the sky. Hit them with your pickaxe. Careful of the hedgies and the, um... I guess these are cavemen. Die. And they fall in waves, so you want to be under the platforms like I wasn't just there. Stupid thing. I should really do the flash game stuff on my desktop, but I don't. Triple kill. M -m -m Monster kill. More like hedgehog kill. Those hedgehogs remind me of that thing in Cave Story. Which no one is probably thinking of. But totally trust me, there was a thing in Cave Story and it looked kind of like that. It was spiky. And it was fairly abstract. That is why it is similar. It was surely the only spiky abstract thing in all of existence, so... It must be directly copied. Boink. Also, you want to be careful in this mode like I haven't been. Because you have very limited health, and ow, you get, I think you get one heart per wave, which if you're careful should be enough. Just remember, you have a bit more range than it looks like with the pickaxe, um, which is annoying. I wish games wouldn't do that where the hitbox is like eight times the size of the sprite. It just flows and feels much better when I can tell exactly where I'm going to hit without freaking memorizing how many pixels I'm going to attack. Die. I'm doing fairly good, I think. Actually, I have no idea what my previous score was in this, so I have no idea what I'm, how I'm doing. I like when they just stand around in crowds so I can get multi-kills. I don't think multi-kills are worth any extra points, though. And Bob looks so freaking ridiculous when he's on the ice. Look at that. Oh god. Stupid hedgehogs. I shall destroy you for your insolence. And you cavemen, I shall destroy you for your fatness. Oh god! They run off platforms? You're not supposed to run off platforms. What do you think you are, a red freaking Koopa? Red Koopas do that, right? I have no idea. Anyway, this is Hurry Up Bob, and you can play it on freaking new grounds like everything else that I play, usually. And it's pretty fun. Bob is ridiculous, and it's going over this thing. I thought I should play this game because it involves lava. And I love things that involve lava, even though lava does not like me. Oh no, it doesn't. So if you're seeing this, I figured out YouTube's on-site video editor. I just wanted to show a couple things. First is the idle animation. Uh, there's a different one where he like changes into some sort of suit. Ow, oh god! 
Anyway. Oh, come on, change into the suit. Anyway, another thing I noticed was that if you want to pause the game, there's no keyboard shortcut. You go up here and you click the pause button, which... That requires switching input methods, which... You're gonna lose some time when you do that. Come on, Bob, do the other idle animation. Hot butt. That is awesome. Well, Bob is a jerk face and he doesn't want to do the other idle animation. And he also likes Al. Lava. But yeah, I really hate when games make you switch modality and switch, you know, input methods to, you know, perform, especially when it's rare tasks. Like, because my hands are just going to be only on the keyboard, and if I want to all of a sudden pause the game, I'm going to take a second to switch over to my mouse, then I have to maneuver the mouse up to here and click it. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but, you know, in a video game, it can be life or death. And it's just a general efficiency issue. It just makes the game easier to use if, for example, I could just press P to pause it. And see, you can press space to resume from the pause screen, and that's good. But you can't press space or anything like that, anything that I can see, to pause it. Oh, he was going to do it. Yeah, he turns into a robot. It's probably a reference to something, but I have no idea. I... I totally lost the track of thought there. But yeah, it's just so weird that not only do you have to move your cursor up there, if you want to resume it, you have to move your cursor over here again. It's just sort of odd. I would prefer it if I just pressed, you know, press P. P isn't mapped to anything fell asleep on the job. You just press P, game is paused, you press it again, you're back, your hands can art, you can hit, your hands can still be on the controls. That's another thing, if I have to have the mouse in one hand, then, like, what if I use my right hand to move over to the mouse, and then after I unpause it with the mouse, I have to move my hand again. You lose even more time, which can kill you. It's just a little simple usability issue. And I just like to harp on those. Anyway, my browser does not like me playing Flash games while recording. But whatever. You do that freaking dance, Bob. Look at him go. He's got some badass moves. I also like the mini-map. I did not realize until, like, when I started recording this that there was a mini-map down there the whole freaking time. And you can keep track of where the lava is, which is badass. Except I didn't manage to notice that this whole time. Anyway, this has been the addendum to Bob whatever face.